So you're going to walk in and knock on the door? Uh, yeah. Okay. Who is it? Oh, it's you guys. It's the guys from the, the Netherlands, right? Come on in. Come on in. You look beautiful. Well, you know, I dressed up for you guys. Wow. You got to look rock and roll, man. You know, got to keep the brand going. Come on in. This is where Karen and I, we designed the house. Bought a jukebox. It lights up, and why isn't it lighting up? <laughs> where are your songs? Oh, there's, right there. there. You Wouldn't Listen by the Ides of March. Uh, Eye of the Tiger Survivor. I call this uh, Blondes Have More Fun. Oh, well, these are my blonde guitars. Almost all of them are Gibsons, um, all vintage 50s uh, guitars. This is the real wall of, I, I would say, the, the most valuable guitars in my collection. This is a, a 1958 Les Paul Custom, totally mint condition, just like the one Jimmy Page uh, used to use. 56 Telecaster, uh, Flying V, original Flying V, uh, extremely rare, one of uh, uh, 87 ever made from 58. I'll tell you though, I, I do love this one. This is my Tiger, Gibson Tiger J200. It was a boring blonde top and I sent it to a, a refinisher and I said, do a Tiger. No, it only plays one song. You ready? It's the only song it plays. But at least it's a good sign. <laughs> One day I got home from doing some stuff and I pull in the driveway and I press the answering machine and I hear, hey, yo, Jim, give me a call, Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> and I go, somebody's putting me on. This is unreal. And I go, uh, this is Jim Peter. Is this Sylvester Stallone? He goes, hey, Jim, yeah, call me Sly. I go, really? Really? Yeah, this is Stallone, yeah, Sly. So here's me, kid from small town in Illinois, talking to my hero, Sylvester Stallone. I didn't know what to say. He says, well, look, I really like your band, Survivor. That's the sound I want for my new movie, Rocky Three. can you help me out? I go, are you kidding me? Yeah, I can help you out. I called Frankie Sullivan, the guitar player of the band who I wrote songs with. And he came over and we put the cartridge in and we see the action and we hear bump, bump, bump. Another one bites the dust. So I call Sly. Hey, Sly, you got a song. You got a song. What's this? Another one bites the dust. That's good, right? He goes, yeah, I can't use it. Couldn't get the publishing rights. So every, every day I thank God to Queen that they were, they, they wouldn't give him the publishing. This is the Hall of Fame. That's the platinum, that's the gold. One million copies at that point. It went far beyond that, of course, to platinum. Well, that's a million. I don't know the difference. Anyway, oh, that's Rocky IV. That's Rocky III. I get, got it. I mean, that's Eye of the Tiger. That's Rocky IV. Ah. He said, I want something with a pulse. So immediately, that set my mind to that digga digga digga, a very hypnotic pulse. And then, we hear the magic phrase, Rocky, you gotta keep the eye of the tiger. I look at Frankie, Frankie looks at me and go, eye of the tiger, got it. And then the next few days, you know, I was running through the neighborhood thinking of ideas. So many times. So many times it happens too fast. You trade your passion for glory. Basically the story of Rocky III. I had my uh, guitar around my neck 
and I just caught the pulse of the whole thing. But the chord changes, I was riding in my car and I just heard it in my head. Bump, 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 wait for a punch. Bump, 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 bump. The power of that song and the riff and goosebumps, I still get goosebumps. Send it to Stallone, he calls us. You guys really did it. You really did it, man. You got the eye of the tiger. But what amazes me is still inspiring people to go beyond what they thought they could do. Amsterdam's got the eye of the tiger. I talked to cancer patients that got them through chemo. I talked to company presidents that got them to the top of the ladder. Sports, music, they got the eye of the tiger, and that's the best reward I could ever get as a songwriter is hearing those stories from people. I'm just very thrilled.